Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should upgrade your RV. So I'm gonna give you guys six questions to ask yourself that will hopefully help you guys decide whether or not to upgrade your RV. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because we have considered upgrading our 2010 Keystone Hideout 27 BWE. This will be the eighth season that we've owned the camper and we did buy this camper used as well too. So I thought this video could be beneficial to other people that are faced with the, the same question, whether or not you should upgrade your RV. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the questions that we asked ourselves in our thought process on whether we should upgrade our camper or not. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys if we are indeed going to upgrade our camper or if we're gonna keep this one. So let's get into it. So the first question that we asked ourselves, okay, do we actually need to upgrade or do we want to upgrade? Cause don't get me wrong, do I want to upgrade? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll go to uh, RV lots and check out new campers and look at all the new fancy features where some of these campers have, you know, like central vac systems and little USB ports everywhere and they come standard with solar and you know, they have all these awesome cool features that our camper doesn't really have. And uh, it's very easy to say, oh man, I want that. So why might a person actually need to upgrade? Well, let's say that they purchased a camper that only sleeps two and they're getting ready to have kids and they're gonna need some extra beds. That would be a more of a need than a want. Or let's say that you need to upgrade your camper because yours has sustained a significant amount of water damage over the years and is unreplaceable. That could be another reason that you would need to upgrade. Now, one other reason that uh, you may upgrade or a lot of people will upgrade is because of repairs on their camper. With our camper, it's 10 years old. So we've looked at, okay, is the cost uh, cost time and effort of doing all the repairs that we need to do uh, less than what it would cost us to just go out and get a new camper now one thing when asking yourself this question you really need to look at repairs versus routine maintenance changing out light bulbs like I'm doing right now that's a routine maintenance item another routine maintenance thing that you're gonna have to do is get new tires which we did last year you're also gonna have to do routine maintenance stuff like checking the seals on your roof and around your lights and things of that nature. So whether you have a new camper or you're sticking with your old camper, there's gonna be routine maintenance items. Things that are not as routine maintenance items is stuff like this. Uh, both of our fender skirts are cracked and need to be replaced. That's more of a repair. We also just upgraded our hand crank tongue jack to an electric uh, tongue jack, which I'll put a link in the description of where we bought this uh, on Amazon and a link to that video. But I had repaired our old hand crank one multiple times and finally it just broke. So that was a repair that needed to be done. Another repair that needs to happen to our camper is we need to replace both our awning arms, brackets, and the fabric. So really, we need a whole new awning. Uh, we've tried looking for parts for our awning and we've tried repairing it uh, in multiple areas, but it's just beyond repair and we need to spend probably close to $1,000 or so and get a new awning if we wanna keep an awning on our camper. So the third thing that you wanna ask yourself is can you afford to upgrade? Now, with financing through dealerships and all that stuff, they definitely make things pretty affordable. And I'm not saying that financing is bad versus cash. Just remember that the bulk of RVers only use their camper a handful of times a year. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth paying, you know, potentially hundreds of dollars per month for the next 10 years or more uh, for a camper that you're only going to use a handful of times a year? That's a question that you can only answer yourself. I definitely encourage you guys to pay cash for your campers. Uh, that's what we've done over the years. Uh, and or 
kind of stair stepping up as you upgrade. For instance, what we've done is we went from a used pop-up camper to a brand new hybrid camper to now our travel trailer here. And when we actually went from the hybrid camper to our travel trailer here, uh, funny enough, we actually sold our hybrid camper for more than what we paid for a larger upgraded camper. So we actually upgraded our camper and made a little bit of money on the deal. So the fourth question that you're gonna to have to ask yourself is, will you be able to use your same tow vehicle if you upgrade your camper, or will you have to get a new tow vehicle? Uh, for us, when we went from our hybrid camper to our travel trailer, we actually had upgraded our tow vehicle. And since we were no longer limited by tow capacity, uh, that was actually a catalyst for us upgrading our camper. When we do upgrade to our next camper, we are going to make sure that our current truck is going to be able to tow our new camper because we do not want to have to buy another truck <laughs> in addition to a new camper. So the fifth thing you want to ask yourself uh, is how often do you camp? really consider the number of times that you actually go out and use your RV uh, when when figuring out if you should upgrade or not. You know, if if you're going to be full timing or using your camper a lot more, um, then it might make sense for you to upgrade. And if you do upgrade, you should also consider looking at a rig that is more suited for full timers. You know, a lot of these campers are built for the recreational camper. They're only really meant to be used a handful of time of years and they will suffice for that. But if you're actually going to be living out of your RV, uh, you may need to spend a little bit more money on something that's a little bit better built. So the sixth and final question to ask yourself is, will upgrading your camper increase your camping experience if no then there's your answer <laughs> if yes follow up that question with how will upgrading your camper increase your camping experience now some examples of this would be like say you primarily only camp in the summertime but you want to start doing some winter camping or you know just increase your camping season so you're looking at getting a four season rig well that would definitely increase your camping experience because you're going to be going out camping a lot more and if that's something you really love and enjoy doing that's probably going to be worth the upgrade or let's say that your rig is more set up to camp at you know level flat uh campsites or campgrounds rv parks or whatnot but you'd really like to get into boondocking and disperse camping on national forest land and BLM land. Then upgrading to something that is a little bit better suited for off-road camping would probably be good for you. With this one, there's a couple of uh, uh, caveats to this. You know, you can do upgrades to your camper to make it more four season friendly. I upgraded our camper, which is a total base model camper, uh, so that we could do some extended season camping. I went camping here uh, in the winter time and it got down to five degrees when I was camping and I was still able to use my water and it was 60 to 70 degrees inside our camper. Um, you could also flip your axles and upgrade your suspension so you can make your rig more off-road. Remember, you don't always have to upgrade your RV to make it better suited for you know what type of camping you do and how you use your camper you can you can just upgrade parts of your camper to make it to make your current setup better suited for what you're looking to do biggest thing with deciding whether you should upgrade or not is just be honest with yourself um, a lot of times you know it it feels great to upgrade and get something new and and whatnot but Sometimes that can be a very short-lived feeling, especially after you start doing the same routine maintenance on your new camper that you'd be doing on your old camper. And at the end of the day, just be grateful for the setup that you have 
and that you're able to get out and do some camping. So what are we going to do? Well, we are going to keep our camper. Why are we going to keep our camper? Well, for starters, we love the layout. Uh, we don't have any slides or anything, but we really feel like we have a, a good amount of floor space in here. Our camper is a bunkhouse model, so our son has an area and there's plenty of storage back there. Our bathroom is a pretty good size. Uh, we have a dinette and a couch, which is pretty awesome for the length of our camper. And again, not having any slide outs. I really enjoyed having this couch uh, when I got stuck in a snowstorm, uh, two foot snowstorm on our land. I really liked having the couch and be able to watch movies. And then we have a, basically a completely separate uh, bedroom in here as well. Besides that, over eight years, we've really made this camper our own and have done a lot of upgrades to really suit us. Uh, I installed 200 watts of solar on the camper. We flipped our axles so we can do some more dispersed camping and boondocking. We upgraded our suspension to a more ride CRE 3000 uh, system. We installed a, a max fan in the bathroom. We put a window with a blind in our door. Um, we got the electric jack up front. We have done a ton of stuff. There's plenty more things that we've done, just too many to mention, but uh, yeah, we really like our camper. So uh, our plans of this camper is basically, we're gonna keep this thing until it fully breaks or something on us. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen for a long time. And uh, another reason we're keeping this camper too is, man, I wouldn't have half of the video content that I have if we had a new camper. Uh, Cause it's stuff breaking and, you know, doing DIY upgrades and all this stuff. I have plenty of content for my YouTube channel. So anyways, I'll put uh, some links to some videos. I, I do a lot of DIY projects on our camper, like I just mentioned. So I'll put some links uh, to some of the other videos and upgrades I've done here. But if you guys enjoy this video, please throw a like, consider subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.